Hi guys, this is Quid182 and this is Football Manager 13. I've been playing it for the last couple of weeks now and I'm at Grimsby Town as you can see and I am top of the league by one point at the minute. Uh, it's a really good game this, I'd suggest you buy it if you haven't got it already. I haven't, I haven't played the last couple of these so I'm not sure what they was like but I used to play this when I was growing up or when it was Championship Manager. Um, quite hard to get into. Um, you've got to focus on your tactics a lot on this game. Uh, you can't just put the same team out and the same tactics every game. Um, when you're home you can go a bit more attacking especially if they're a weakened team. Uh, away, it's hard to win away. Um, depends who you're playing again but usually play defensive if you're away. Um, I started off quite bad really. Um, no, I won the first, drew the first one, uh, won the next three, but then I kind of went on a losing streak. Uh, had a few poor results, and the man, it, I was nearly on the brink of getting a sack uh, up until I think it was, uh, where was it? The Dartford game, I think, when we won. And then we kind of went on a winning streak from there, apart from in the FA Cup. Um, we've won quite a few now on the trot and haven't conceded many so that's good um, it's kind of hard to score goals though I'm finding it um, I'm not scoring as many as I'd like to be I mean look at the top scorers I mean, none of them are mine I think the top scorer I've got is has only got 8 or 9 I think at the minute. but I find it hard to score with the rest of the team uh, Oh, we've got next Wrexham next. It should hopefully get a good win out of that. As soon as we're home and they're eleventh, so that'd be a good game. I'm hoping that we can actually win rather than go through the playoffs at the end. But it's still not even halfway year yet, so we've got a big long season ahead of us. Hopefully, I can win it. Unlike Grimsby Town in real life, who just got knocked out of the playoffs. Um, look at my team. I've got rid of a few players. Um, as you see, Andy Cook, nine goals. Hayne and Hatton on five. He's a good little player, Hatton. Very good player. Um, for a right back, he was good. Um, you see, he's 22 appearances, five goals. He's a good guy. Um, Bought a few guys, I can't actually remember who I bought now. Um, I also got a few on loan. The only thing with being in town is you've got hardly any money. Um, let me see if I can find the finances. Not good. Transfer budget of nothing. Uh, hardly anything. I've started to, with the Cup wins, I've got a little bit of money coming together, but as you see, predicted turnover. Um, it's all right now, it's not too bad, whereas before it was kind of going down, so I had to get rid of a few players. But all in all, this is, this is a good game. Um, your tactics, you have to get these right, like I say. I can use the 4 3 3 option, especially at home. Um, and then I've got two other tactics. That one, I've used that kind of if I'm away. Or it's called a modern warfare tactic that I downloaded. That's quite good. And then again, you have to get your right players though in the playing positions. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this is the team talks you have to do and the press conferences, they can be annoying. I normally send my assistant to them, uh, but sometimes he gives them wrong advice and drops them around, so you kind of got to do it all the time. I'm not sure about the training yet, I don't really get into that. I just set the coaches to do all the training, 
I've got no idea how to do that. Um, so yeah, there's there's my fixtures. Next, I've got Lincoln coming up. That'll be tough. Uh, twice, away and home. Um, they'll be tough games. I'm hoping I can go on and keep this winning run going uh, until the end of the season. Hopefully, it would be nice. Uh, what else do you want to see? Let's have a look at the table again. So there you go, the table, we're top. Lost five, drawn four. Got a good dog goal difference so We've not really con we've not scored many, but we haven't conceded many. I think that's why that's up there. Um Let's have a look at the other leagues. Bradford at the top of League Two. Tranmere League One. Coventry. Cardiff at the top. It's in real life. They just they just won it in real life. Oh, they haven't. Yeah, they have won it. Um, Wolves are doing better. They're eleventh at the minute. Uh, and in the Premiership, Man United are uh, nine points behind City at the minute. And City got a game in hand. Um, apart from that, it looks pretty much realistic. Maybe not West Brom in fourth though. Um, yeah, Liverpool seventh. At the bottom, yeah, Wigan, Aston Villa, Reading, QPR, Newcastle, they're all teams that are near the bottom in real life now. Everton are far down, and Tottenham as well, actually. Well, yeah, looking good. So, I'm going to play a game for you and show you what it's like. This is just the information screen about the up and coming fixture. This is where you have to pick the squad. So I haven't really got a good squad to really pick with. Um, you have to keep an eye on your fitness. Fitness is, it goes down quite a lot on this game. Um, Miller, Oof. I've got a few injuries at the minute, a decent team. Liam Hearn, let's get him in there. Mm, who else? Where's Cook? Bring him back in the squad. Um, subs, who have we got on subs? Big no. What's Hannah? I've been doing very good. Disney. Okay, right. We'll go with modern warfare tactics then in this one. And let's see if we can win. It takes a while to get to the uh, the games, but. It's worth the wait. They're going with a four four two. The only thing about this game is if you look at my formation now, everyone seems to have moved. Cook and Hearn was up front but now they're kinda of there. Um so I have to change that straight away when I go into a game. Does this sometimes, I don't know why. And again more information. Players to mark, you can you can choose. Tight marking, closing down on specific players. I don't tend to do this when I'm at home. Uh, you can ask your assistant to give the talk on this page, or you can give them a talk as well. And normally, if I'm away from home, I just tell them to uh, just chill out and calm down and enjoy the match. Uh, today I'm going to go, let's give the fans something to cheer. No, no one had um, any positives from that. It's just all about trying to get them. I never really go aggressive. Pressure's off today for the midfielders. Um, 
grab some goals for them. Style, um, go with fluid, uh, attack in, and get a ball forward for now. So, let's start the match. I'll have to pause it straight away to sort the tactics out though. As you can see, they're all, they've all changed. Right. That's that. These are the game settings as well. Uh, highlights, I kind of go on extended or key. And we don't want a big full match on. Just replays for the goals. And let's go. Okay. So I speed this up a little bit. And it just tells you stuff on the right hand side here. Your, uh, your assistant tells you what's going on a little bit, what you should do. Um, this middle screen here just tells you the ratings and everything. Uh, and that's half time, a really boring match really. Uh, let's let's ask the assistant to give the talk. Okay, two people looked alright. Um, if you're not happy with someone, you can tell them. Um, they're all pretty much alright. I'll probably take him off soon, Thomas. Let's issue some more instructions then. Um, run a defence. Look for the overlap. Um, start the second half. Okay, pretty boring game to be honest this one. There we go. Crossbar. Okay, let's pause it. No, sometimes it doesn't pause. Right. Okay, this is where you need to work your magic. The cook's not doing very good. Let's take him off uh, Matt Smith, who I just brought in on loan. Um, I ain't got anyone really who's any good on here. Let's take him off. Um, just put Niven on there as well. Okay, we need to go very fluid now. Keep on attacking. Okay, no turn talks. Okay, let's go. We can shout instructions during the match. Let's pump ball into the box as well. Making tactical changes. Okay, a bit of shoot on site as well. Normally, it takes me about five minutes each match. I'm just doing this quick so you can see what's going on. Oof. Not doing very good at all in this match. It's looking like a boring draw. Now, ball draw. Um, yeah, they never really say it unless at the end I just normally leave my assistant to do it. Um, anyone who's done really poor, you just tell them that they have. Um, other than that, they don't need anything on that because it was rubbish. But it's a point, I suppose. 
it's probably not as off top and it has yet so now we're off top and that's halfway through the season lead match and that's pretty much it um, like this video share it if you do um, and I might make some more and you can see how the Mariners finish up at the end of the season thanks for watching See you later.